In this video, we're going to use Microsoft PowerPoint to create a simple luggage tag and print our data over to the Universal Laser Systems Universal Control Panel to use in our laser cutter. Let's get started. Start by opening up PowerPoint. Any blank presentation is fine. I'm going to click and drag around everything here and press delete just to get that out of the way since we don't need it. The next thing I want to do is make sure that my work area on the slide is the same size as my laser print bed. So in this case, if I'm using a VLS 350 or VLS 360 DT is the new model number, I'm going to change this to 24 inches wide by 12 inches tall. To do that, we go up to our design tab, click over at slide size and go to custom slide size. Again, 24 inches wide by 12 inches high, and OK. These options don't really matter. I've used Maximize, and, and that's fine. Uh, so click on Maximize, and we should be good to go. From here, we need to add a couple of shapes. So we're going to go to our Insert tab. And I'm going to start with the outside of my luggage tag. So I want to come to Shapes. And we're just going to do a simple rectangle and draw that anywhere. From here, we want to make sure that there's no fill on our shape. And we want the outline to be RGB red. Now, the other thing we can do is right click here and come to Outline and More Outline Colors. Come to Custom and verify that the color is actually full 255 red with the color mode RGB. Otherwise, the laser won't see it properly. And we click OK. While in the Shape Format tab up here, we're going to change the height to 2 inches and the width to 3.5 inches. And click anywhere to exit the Shape Format tab. I'm going to add another shape on the inside of this for a border. That's going to be blue. So I'm going to go back to Insert, Shapes, Rectangle. Again, click and drag. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter what size. No fill for the shape. Shape outline color, again more colors. I'm going to do 255 blue. OK. Then I want this one to be a little bit smaller than the one I just made since it's going to be an inside border. So we'll do 1.75 by 3.25. And kind of drag this. PowerPoint does have some nice snapping tools. So if you drag and position it, you can get that perfectly centered on the outside border. We want to add some text in here to put somebody's name on there. So we'll go ahead and go to insert text box this time. And you can kind of click anywhere. Again, it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll do Alex. If I want to make this bigger, I can double click on the text and we can make it 48. Maybe we'll go a little bit bigger. We'll do 54 anywhere that looks good again we'll drag this use those snapping tools to align that to the middle and the last thing we need is a hole to put some sort of string or other sort of tether to so we're going to insert again shapes this time we're going to do any, an oval or an ellipse drag that out change the fill to no fill we want this again to be cut out so we're going to use red. Again, red defaults to cutting, blue defaults to vector marking, and black to vector engra or raster engraving, rather. We change the height of this here to be 0.25 by 0.25, height and width. And again, I'm going to drag this over, use those snapping tools to align it to the middle of our piece. The other alternative here is to click on our circle, hold shift, and click on our rectangle. And then we come up to align, and I want to align the middle of these two objects. And you can see, again, I was already aligned, but that's another option if you aren't snapped into those grids. Now, if we wanted to make this same luggage tag, but with a curved or radius corner for these rectangles, there is actually a shape for rectangle with rounded corners. And the process is exactly the same. We'll make a box, 
we're not going to fill it. We'll outline it in red. Three and a half. Sorry. One, two by three and a half. Another option is to copy this, so I'm going to hit Control C. Clip it out anywhere else to unselect that box. Hit Control V to make a copy of it. Make this 1.75 by 3.25. And we're going to change this to blue. Again, that's my recently used color, so I know that that's already RGB blue. I'll show you what I was talking about earlier with our aligning. Click Align, Align the Middle. Align and align the center. Now we're centered up. Now these two objects are going to be exactly the same, so I'm going to control C after again selecting the first one, holding shift and selecting the second one. Control C, control V, and I'll move this around until I'm happy with the positioning. And then we can line those up if we want to. Once we have our design, again two different options for the same luggage tag. We come up to File, Print. Make sure that the printer you have selected is whatever laser you're using. Again, in this case, it's going to be a VLS350 for me. It might say 360DT if you're using a desktop version. Click on Printer Properties. This brings up the Materials Database. Here I'm going to select my material, which happens to already be selected, Continuous Cast Acrylic. I'm going to make my material thickness 0.125. Since nothing's changed, there's nothing for me to apply, but in the case that something did change, you can see apply will be highlighted. You can click apply and okay. Back at this screen, we click print. We come down to our system tray and verify if our settings are correct, and they are not. These lines should show up as red and blue lines, not grayscale lines. So we have to go back and check our line thickness. Come back into PowerPoint, and I want to select all of these lines. So I'm going to shift and select all of those. Come up to Shape Format. In the Size box here, we can click on this little arrow here to bring up the Size and Position dialog box. And we come over to Fill and Line. Under Line, you should have a Width option. This should be 0 0.001 points. And now that that's correct, we can go back to File Print. Since I'm not changing my material, there's no need to open the Materials Database, but in case you forgot how to do that, we'll do Printer Properties, and that's going to open our Materials Database. We can verify that everything is correct, hasn't changed, and then click Print. Now we come back to our UCP, and we see that our lines are correct. Uh, the outside red line will cut, the inside circle will cut, this blue line will mark a border around our luggage tag, and the black will vector, sorry, raster engrave our text.